Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Lost Skills Podcast. Uh, today I'm going to kind of start doing a video on how to show you how to reload a rifle shell. This is going to be broke up into some groups so there will be different uh, videos and stuff. I'll probably put them all together and just make one long video out of it. So here, if you can see, is a 22-250 rifle brass. I've already deprimed this one, but I'm going to put it back in just to show you what it does. This is a Lee single stage press. It's got the 270 full length resizing die and uh, the deprimer tool in there. You have an, a shell holder in the bottom. I'll show you this quick. This goes, that's a little close. This goes right in there. They each got a number. You got to look them up to see which one goes into which and just slides on like so. Put your shell in the shell holder. <coughs> and then you just pull your shell up till you bottom the press out. Bring it back out. Now here's something I want to show you. When you set this die up, you can see it kind of sticks right through the bottom. You want to bring this all the way up till it just touches. And then you lock the locking nut. I have a set of uh, RCBS, uh, I think they're competition dies for a 22-250. I got it in the deal. And let me kind of show you my reloading setup here. I got the first press. I set this one up for uh, depriming the shells and sizing everything. This press, I'll show you a later video, is used for uh, priming the shells. And here's my powder dispenser. And you can see there's some length uh, sizing, some uh, things for holding the length on the shell. I'll show you how to use them in a little bit. Here's the Lee Auto Prime. It's in its box. I'll show you how to set it up and everything. And this is my full length, or sorry, this is my bullet seating die. What's neat about the RCBS ones is that it has this micrometer right on the top. All you have to do is just turn it and then you can set your your uh, depth of your bullet. All you do is pull this one up and it pushes the bullet up in. So I just wanted to give you a kind of an overview and another neat uh, feature of this is I have these all mounted to this piece of countertop with bolts here, there, and in the corner when this is not in use in my workbench in my garage, I'll back up a little bit so you can see it, what I do is I unbolt that and I can take it and put it on a shelf somewhere or I'm going to put a set of shelf brackets up where it could just sit there. So let me uh, kind of mess around with some things and I'll show you how to prime a 270 shell. Or, uh, sorry, a 22-250 shell. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. We're reset up now. This is a shell length sizing tool. You take this, put it on the shell, a little cutters here, a little tiny end goes through the primer hole, and this gets spun. This is the part that goes onto the shell. I'm going to try to do this one handed. Now yeah, that didn't work out. Kind of holding the camera. This little thing you loosen it up and a shell casing goes in there. Goes in just like that. Then you tighten this down and it holds the shell. Then the cutter goes in, you chuck this into a drill or something. Drill press, I use my drill press. Or uh, Lee actually sells a little thing with a rip cord that you can use, but I just use my drill press because I already own it. And then you cut the shell length down to the right size. Important thing to remember is 
once you've sized your brass, you want to make sure you kind of look it over, make sure there's no stress marks or anything, you know, cracks, anything like that. So let me set up the priming station and I'll show you how to prime a shell. Hello everyone, I'm back. Got everything reset up. This is the Lee Auto Prime 2. You can see the primers. They feed down into a tube into my press. I kind of like the idea of a press a little more because uh, I don't like having explosive little things next to my hand. There's a shell holder on top here also. Shell just slips in. See this part comes up. Just a slight little pressure. You don't have to mash on it. And then voila, a prime shell. Here I'll show you another one. See, it's not primed that way. Nobody knows I'm not faking it. And there you have it, another prime shell. So let me set everything up. I'm going to prime some shells for a little while. And then when I get everything set up, I'll show you how to put a powder charge in. And then I'll show you how to put a bullet in a shell. Hello everyone. I am set up for the next thing. I, first I wanted to show you a good reloading manual. Uh, this one's a spear. And this is one of them caliber specific ones for like a 270. And you can see the spear. And it tells all of your uh, cartridge lengths and everything and all that. That way you know exactly what you're doing when you load the shell. A lot of these have a, like a, uh, they have how to reload the shells right in the book. You know, it tells you like a step-by-step -step process almost. I was going to show you dumping a powder charge, but I figured I can't do it with one hand. So... I, I figure I'll just kind of show you. Take the shell, put up this guy. There's a little cone here. Either that or you can get a funnel. And let me see if I can grab my funnel. This is a funnel that fits multiple calibers. As you can see, it goes right on the 22-250. It's kind of wobbly on there. It's supposed to be for 22 caliber stuff, too. But you just put it up there, hold the shell, lift the handle, bring it down, and it drops charge out. And you, what you can do is you can weigh it on a digital balance beam scale, or a digital scale, they sell them, or a balance beam scale. I'm not going to bother to set up my balance beam scale and show you because I already have the powder measure all set from the last time I loaded them. I didn't uh, change over them reloading these for someone else. Oh yeah, important thing, powder goes here. This holds probably about a half a pound of powder. But once I get through that step, I'll uh, show you how to put a bullet in. Alright, I changed my mind. I decided I would show you guys the balance beam scale. Powder goes there. Move this to your grains. And this for this goes in like a couple pounds. If you look at the scale, it goes from zero to fifty pretty quick. Now you can't even read it. And then this side would be like one grain increments or half grain. You can you can uh, really dial it down to what kind of charge you have. Uh, balance beam scale, they they work okay. They're not the greatest, but I figured I was going to get it out to just check some loads. So. I figured I would uh, take a video of it for you guys. You could see I got it zeroed. Oh, I must have bumped it. Now it's not zeroed anymore. But all you got to do is balance, put that on there, and zero the scale, and you can do it that way. You can also buy powder dippers and just uh, dip it out of the uh, the pound of powder that you have, and then put it in each shell that way. That's also a different way that you can use to measure it because it does it by volume. So I'm going to get this done and then I'll show you how to put a bullet in. All right, everyone. Uh, now here's the bullet in the shell. 
shell holder getting ready to put it in. This is a little different. A lot of times you have to balance the bullet up on here and then you bring it up like this but this is the like I said this is the competition die so they got this kind of cut through just drop the bullet in lift the lever up comes out there you go a fully finished rifle shell that's for a 22250 just wanted to show you guys make this little video there are a lot of little things that I didn't show you I just kinda wanted to show you the gist of making something like this because you know it's really not that big a deal it's not there are the bullets that I'm using a whole bunch of them there another box of them here making these up for a friend of mine that coyote hunts yeah I just wanted to show you you know everybody says that it's a uh, like voodoo to reload and stuff it's not really that big a deal and uh, if you guys like the video go over to my website www.lostskillspodcast.com and check out some of my great podcasts I have one where I actually did go over the reloading stuff but I just figured I'd make a little video now that I got some time to show you so thanks for watching if you like it give me a thumb thumbs up thanks a lot bye